I. How is it working now? Can you hear me now? Uh, let me. I'm not hearing anything from it. No. Hello. Yeah. Maybe. I heard mean flip. Uh, Tommy is reporting that it is working. Okay, Ooh. good. All right. So one more time. Thank you, Tommy. <laughs> Switch.tv slash GM table is us, and I am Andy. <laughs> I have said this three times, so pardon the truncation. We've been having some technical difficulties. I am learning. This is my first stream. This is my first thing with Stream Labs. This is my first like live game, really, outside of the charity stream, and I'm using Fantasy Grounds for the first. So, um, yeah, we've got lots of firsts here. We're going to work through it. Unfortunately, we are down a player, but this is going to be like a light session zero, maybe moving into session one, where we'll work towards introducing our new player. Um, or our other or last player who unfortunately can't be here. Um, he had to have kind of an emergency, a uh, uh, medical emergency last night, and he is fine now, so he will be joining us next week. Um, and if for everyone who is wondering why this person looks like me, he is my twin, so... <laughs> is that um anyway going around the table we will start with my wonderful friends and players who i've known for a hot minute now um below me we have you and so you and tell us about you introduce your character as well hi this is also my first time in any streaming i'll be playing andrew hill a scavenger of the ruined places of this world Just, just a scavenger. Well, well, perfect. I don't have much education, but you don't need much when there's the ruins of a civilization not... around you. <laughs> when there's not much civilization, you don't really need a formal education. Right. You just have to be able to survive. <laughs> yeah, got a gun. It helps with that. Right, right, right. Um, oh, and... You're doing better than I am. <laughs> Then below him, we have Lyrica. And Hi, I'm Lyrica. Uh, you've probably seen me around here a lot. I am now in four streams. Today is my third, and my fourth will be tonight for each week. Look forward to that as I go descend into madness further and further every week. This will be great. Um, my character for this stream is Kate. Um, Caitlin is a mechanic who, if people saw the charity stream where we did kind of pilot episodes, she, um, she was isolated with her father and she enjoyed uh, creating things and pulling things apart and then putting them back together and occasionally blowing shit up. That's what she's good at. No, um, uh, yeah. So since the last stream, though, she has lost her father and Ironhide, so she's a little less chipper, maybe than she used to be, but she still survives, and she's she's worked her way back up to a a shop of sorts, and is now uh, just trying to make it out there, I guess. All right, and then next to Lyrica, we have Flip. You're muted. Uh, there we go. Um, hi, everybody. I'm Flip, a uh, longtime fan of the channel, now also on the channel, because if you just keep liking something hard enough, eventually they'll let you on it. Um, I am playing physics so everything this guy said up here about ah uh, you we don't need no education uh wrong just totally wrong um looking forward to this awesome um okay so to give you guys a little bit of backstory and kind of where our world is taking place um we are going to 
start with kind of a mix of movies and ID IDW comic books, maybe a little Gen 1 thrown in there, just kind of my own thing pulled from all the different media sources that are out there. I just want you to know, Andy, I have no idea what any of that is. So. Yep, so perfect. <laughs> That's even better. I love that. Um, so we're going to be telling our own story a little bit, set in Earth, which has been obviously the war place for the Autobots and the Decepticon for some time, looking to drain it of its resources. Sort of along the lines of the movies, the battles have taken place. Many of the Transformers that you would know from the movies are now gone. Optimus Prime is missing. He went to go find his maker, Quintessa, which was in the movie, who is one of the Quintessons, and that is who kind of made their race. That being said, um, now on Earth, for some time, Autobots and Decepticons, Transformers who were fleeing Cybertron, um, were crashing into the Earth. Um... The war, the battles took place, destroying many major cities, one of which being San Antonio, which is kind of one of the big starting cities in this game for at least part of our players. Now, Dallas is actually intact and has turned into somewhat of a booming metropolis in the wake of all of this. It's got high-tech walls built around it. Um, technology has now come to the forefront in the last few years as scientists and researchers have been researching the alien technology and advancing our own, our weapon system and everything. Um, so that is kind of the world where we're taking up now. Um, a lot of bordering on a dystopian, like, post-apocalyptic feel in a lot of the world. Um, smaller towns have moved to the safety of the bigger cities, often. Um, and so, it's been some time since any new Transformers have crashed into the Earth. From what it seems like, any Transformers that haven't been hunted down by the military black ops group, the TRF, have um, actually gone into hiding. So it's been a long time since anything has happened. Um, now... On to Fantasy Grounds, which is, are, do we feel like we all have our characters set now and is everything good there? I think so. Um, yeah. Okay. Ask her if we're up and up. What was that? Uh, my cat. Oh. Up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, so. um, I, I think my only thing is that I don't, I, I can't pull from like the library so I may not have all the information oh. on each one of them. Oh oh so when you open up library go down to modules and you have to make sure you load all of the modules. I did. Okay. Um I I loaded both of them but they're read only so I can't drag them into my my sheet so it doesn't give me the option to to load my sheet that way, which just means that I may have to look up what, like, okay. what my edges yeah. or things do. That's fine. No big deal. And I can do it for you, too. Just let me know if that is a problem. So I guess what we'll do then is we'll just go right into um, the story from here. And so uh, we'll start with Ewan. And Ewan, why don't you tell us kind of how... Andrew normally starts his day. We're just going to start a, a warm summer morning. Um, if you tell me about where you live and like, I know that you, Andrew and Kate have now become acquaintances. Are they friends? Maybe even um, uh, we could always kind of let the cards determine that. And that's something that Bobby used to do. 
is draw a card and let it represent, hey, Hina Beninas. Um, she joined the chat. I love her. I play in her games. She has a Monster Heart game that I am part of. And yeah, just a little shout out to her. We do that on um, uh, Thursday nights and it's called Will Branch High and I love it very much. Um, and confirming is pretty cool. And so, yeah, you uh, and you, Andrew is kind of waking up wherever he may be. So tell me about kind of, yeah, him and starting his day. Uh, it's okay, it's not the nicest place, but it's his. So as he gets up, checks the buckets under any leaks to make sure it's not rained, and if it has, empties them out. And ooh, I like the music. Oh, sorry here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I haven't. I don't have the music yet. Okay, so um, yeah, so you get up and you are kind of the sun's beating down and. Obviously, air conditioning is not really a thing for you. Maybe you've, like, no. rigged something, but sure, it's drenched in sweat. Um, and I'm sorry, would you say you live in, San, like, in the rubble of San Antonio in, like, a place you've kind of squatted? Or do you kind of have a house somewhere that is maybe still somewhat together? It's in the destroyed area but it's pretty much as intact as you get in that area okay all right awesome so like maybe half of a like apartment skyscraper was like blown off the building yes. was evacuated but the other half is nice and stable so you've got like a working elevator even and like you go up a few floors to the penthouse or something that you've claimed is yours right um maybe one of the windows is busted out and you have it roped off because whoa that's high you know <laughs> and it does provide yes. somewhat of a breeze um and so yeah we We'll start there. It is still hot. I mean, this is Texas in summer with no AC, and, you know, you do what you can. Um, give me a notice roll. I like notice. Perfect. Okay. So as you're getting up and moving through your unit, you kind of think you hear the sounds of, like, machinery moving. Um, like, some sort of robotic step. Uh, being how familiar you are with the world as it is, you imagine it's some sort of military kind of at at -esque vehicle you know um and like a little two biped pedal uh robot right um yeah. century drone i guess you could say and it is patrolling the city streets below you looking for any signs of alien activity as well as anyone who might be trespassing looking for discarded alien debris um you know that the government likes to keep a lockdown on that and so whatever they haven't had time to move out or have maybe uncovered in the wreckage of the city they keep civilians and all other look seers out of the city you guys have managed to kind of carve your own little hiding um, so you hear one moving by, not terribly uncommon. Um, now we'll go to Kate, who is stirring awake. Um, Kate, why don't you tell us kind of how you start your day? Kate would usually get up and check her perimeter first. Um, she, she probably wakes up to crazy uh, music as her little boombox robot decides when she's going to wake up. 
Right. Um, or she, she probably would have set a time with it every single day. She has to be on a routine because that's one of the ways to get over grief. It's also a good idea for survival. Having a schedule so that you know what's going on. She would get up, check her perimeter. She never goes out the front door or any, uh, any door or window that can be seen from the outside. Okay, gotcha. She would generally go out into a back alley or out a back window um, to... Um, she would probably have something like a, an outhouse set up out there. Gotcha. Um, she would maybe tinker a little bit, but more than likely she would set out almost immediately in um, early daylight before it got too hot and before... Um, like right before everything starts to shift if there's shifts or anything like that around the area before people really start getting active so that she can do all her scavenging before people start becoming a problem gotcha um, okay I love it um, so why don't you start by giving me a uh We'll say a notice first for you checking your your kind of patrolling your area first. Stacked, yes. And so nice, yeah. So um, you are immediately aware aware of the sentinel moving through the streets before like your perimeter alarm has gone off, um, and you know exactly which zone it is moving in so you kind of slip out the appropriate side of your house um and so why don't you give me a stealth plus two? Oh, plus two okay let me put that modifier in that's good because my stealth is not that great <laughs> as i critically fell on stealth uh yeah well um oh bennies how do i give out bennies that's a good question do i just drag them to you guys we're gonna try it. i think so yeah yes okay so there guys... should be a way at some point to to reset them or to set them um automatically at the beginning of a game but we can okay we can work with that later wait and you guys should get three each right I think so. I think that's the starting. Um, okay. All right. So if Benny's, um, you and if you're not familiar, you can use them to re-rolls. Re-roll, you can't use them to uh, um, re-roll a critical failure, though. Okay. And I should have one less than normal. I don't have the best of luck. Uh, okay, so you've got unlock. It, you can just drag that Benny back to the chat, and it will just pass it back. There you go. Okay, awesome. Um, so unfortunately, oh, I should also deal out um some adventure cards because we are going to be using those. They are things that uh you can all use at any time to alter the course of the game so let me there, i'm sure there's a way to deal with them but i don't know how to do that so i'm just going to deal them to you guys manually and now under the adventure card tab on your character sheet you can see your adventure cards and read them and think about when you might be able oh. to use them to your advantage <clears throat> i'm not sure where that is how do i see that um so on your yeah sorry no you go ahead if you want yeah that's on fine. your character sheet um, you have little tabs over on the right hand side, main, trait, combat, yes. powers, oh. inventory. Down at the very back bottom is, it looks like advanced cards. It's adventure. Yeah, mine is blank. And then it's. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so. 
Um, all right, now, you know where this drone is, but Shortwave wasn't around you this morning, and he was actually out helping to check on one of your pro uh, proximity alarms that had started malfunctioning. And so as you kind of are creeping out of your garage and you've got yourself pressed up against the wall, you peer around a corner and you see shortwave and he's like waddling back towards your home, but you see the drone take a step around the corner of the alley down by and, <laughs> um, you little shit <laughs> you hear like a robotic voice that says halt this is the trf we s we have detected an alien presence do not resist detainment sounds like it's time to resist some detainment oh shit Okay, now we're going to go to Flip. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> uh, can I start in Dallas? Uh, you are starting in Dallas, yes. And so oh. your day starts a bit differently. You, oh, well, it most certainly does. You are wealthy. You're yes. powerful <laughs> in this company. Um, okay, I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, you're... They really... You have managed to understand a significant amount about this metal that the professor introduced you to so many years ago at this point um this company has, wait same same professor same guy uh yeah but oh, he doesn't a dick. no he doesn't work <laughs> at the um he does not work at the company that, that's that's fine i out of game still hate him. yeah right of course <laughs> of course makes sense though so um but your life has been pretty calm and has kind of taken a more normal trajectory this company, oh yeah i got i got that fancy apartment with all the smart gadgets yeah totally like my, uh, my tea brewed in a gm table mug that actually enhances the flavor um is already <laughs> ready to go uh for those who don't know, these are available. In shameless the plug, shameless plug. No, I'm kidding. Shameless plug. <laughs> I don't make any money on that. It all goes to the GM table. Um, yeah, comfortable modern apartment. I'm into it. Um, so that being said, like, yeah, nice modern apartment. You're waking up to your normal day. KSI is the leading mind in the alien technology research and development. Uh, they have locations here, they have locations in Tokyo, like all over the world, you'll find a KSI research and development laboratory, um, usually a fancy high rise with state of the art decor as well as security. <laughs> um, so it is glossy buildings, lots of neon lights. Um, they pride themselves on making the future. So, um, you have been working with Dr. Lang, who is the Japanese woman that you met. And she is kind of cold, but you guys get along. She's got a very dry sense of humor, and you've come to realize that she's not so bad although she is obviously a bit higher up than you and so sometimes she has things that she has to go do that you're not necessarily aware of um, i don't particularly care about that either right 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 um you there's know, so much fascinating alien tech to play with like who, who cares what dr uh, dr lang yeah 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 <laughs> and so I don't care about that. I just want to study this tech. Right, right. So you're getting up early and you're heading into the office. Um, you show your security pin. In my resurrected Prius. Yes, in your resurrected Prius. For, also. for those who don't know, during the charity stream that was semi-canonical, uh, my car was viciously uh, and unnecessarily destroyed by, uh, 
by intervening robots or something. I, I don't really remember what destroyed it, but intervening it has robots. been resurrected. It's a, a good summary, inter intervening robots. Um, so why don't you give me your, I'm so sorry you guys, I have the burps so bad and it's like wanting to interrupt every single thing that I'm saying. Um, why don't you give me first and foremost your, uh, academics and that's just kind of, we'll say you arriving to work and being your scientist and going through all uh, of can that. Can I do research over that? Yeah, sure, absolutely. You're working on some new tech then, we'll say that. Yeah, that's an average day, I guess. I don't know, I, I actually don't know what six means in uh, Savage Worlds. Um, no, six is a one success. Um, Pretty so good. yeah, you are hanging at your hanging at your lab really and here's something interesting about the lab that you've come to witness you've got a shit ton of alien tech there um but the thing with alien tech in this world is it might be a decepticon head it might be a, a decepticon what head it might be okay. an autobot arm um they're hooked up to all sorts of devices and cables that are reading their programming and, and restrained uh, and they're yep and they're oh yeah no i i'm marking it now this shit's locked like right okay i, I don't want no weird autobot arm going and being flailing around yeah i don't need that in my life gotcha okay awesome so everything also checked for bronze Yes, of course, obviously. Oh, we know what happens to bronze. <laughs> um, uh, so you bind these arms down, right? And, um, or the arm down, or you make sure that, like, the cannons, ha uh, cannons have been removed and ammo. Um, and you've developed, KSI is actually working on civilian transforming vehicles that they plan on debuting they're also as working as, they're also working on obviously things for the military uh helping them with their weapons and things like that um but you are aware that most of the military work that you do is for civilian protection you're not an arms and research uh, that kind of research facility um yeah. ksi is known for maintaining an image of civilian protection really um so that being said you roll your research you are on to something um and it's not you stumble upon a root file in ksi's database um and it actually says project hm dr lay okay i ignore it okay awesome and so i like my job <laughs> right um so you just close that off and go back to working on what you're working on yeah no I i'm good <laughs> currently what ksi is developing is creating some sort of neuralink with ah oh, crap actually you know what i i just i realized i have the curious flaw oh <laughs> you got yes. to yeah yes. you gotta do it can't ignore it oh no <laughs> <laughs> my desperate attempt to miss this flat hook has failed all right all right I uh, I, I want to double check to make sure that like I can access this without like I'm gonna try to cover my tracks. Okay, for sure. But I'm so, like, oh man, this this looks cool. Uh, I took a flaw. I gotta play it. Why don't you give me a an electronics? Electronics. All right. Uh, give me one second. Let's <clears throat> fancy grounds. Here we go. Uh, oh, cool. It's a D4. Let's fuck this up. Uh, okay. Uh, it says five. Yeah. Right perfect. Now. Okay. So. You don't see any obvious, like, uh, protection, any sort of... Yeah, I mean, we'll just, we'll just take a quick peek, like, like, just what is the basics, like... It's gonna be we're harmless. We're not gonna be, like, just, so just gonna take a quick look. Right, so, you really... I, I can just say, it was an accident, I accidentally clicked on this. Okay, awesome, so you realize that 
within this folder, there are a few different files, uh, blueprints and schematics and things, obviously. Um, one of them is kind of directly linked to the project that you're currently working on. It's for a neuro Neuralink. So a human could technically link mentally with some of KSI's robots. Um, cause it, being able to control them with their mind, turn on the radio, transform the vehicle, do things like that. Um, now, something interesting is that you see test subject number three. Gail Ruthridge. Okay. You click on that file and... Do I have to? I, I no, you do don't not... have to, actually, no. Because mm. um, I'm not... Like, I'm more curious about just the basics of this file, but I also know I don't want to lose my job. Right, for sure. Um, so, so I'll leave it up to you whether or not my curiosity flaw forces me to do that, but I, yeah. I think at this point I'd be like... Okay, cool. Neural links, that's cool. I don't really need to know details. Right. I mean, as far as you're aware, and as far as it seems, KSI is not a dangerous KSI's company. KSI good people. They're not going to hurt anybody. Yeah, this is a volunteer. Right. Yeah. I, I'm not particularly interested in who, who or what experiments are doing. They're doing neural links. Right. That's cool. Right. Yeah. So it's just you know, forefront right. of technology. Right. You kind of expect it. You close out of the yeah. file. Your curiosity led you to that a little bit more. Now we'll bounce back to Ewan. Ewan, um, yeah. you have it woken up. <laughs> you, you, you. Um, you, Ewan, you wake up. You've heard this sound. Um, continue with your morning. Are you grabbing stuff? Going to look for like more items? Yeah, I'll grab my backpack and my usual gear and gonna head out. Okay, awesome. Now, I feel like Ewan kind of is the type to... He doesn't necessarily repair Transformers, but he does like repairing their tech. So he probably has an alien blaster that he carries around on his hip just in case. Um, and uh, so he's figured out enough of the tech. The A lot of the electronic equipment in your apartment, condo high-rise really, um, is uh repaired and working and functional so you have somewhat of yes. a poor connection tv that you can keep track of news and stuff um you descend the elevator which is actually a really nice glass elevator on the exterior of the building that's remained intact so as you're coming down the elevator you kind of get a nice bird's eye view of <laughs> the city, right? Now, why don't okay. you give me a notice? I'm just gonna say, if you don't notice her right now, you're gonna in a second. All right. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah. So you see this kind of pint-sized powerhouse, right? Um, I feel like, not maybe not powerhouse, but she's definitely no pushover, right? Um, like, she's uh, got spirit. She's she got spirit, yeah, she does. <laughs> <laughs> so she, uh, you see her kind of be like, skid to a halt, and then you see this little tiny blue, glint of like metallic something kind of bobbling towards her like has no idea but then you see the giant two-footed drone stepping into the alley behind them and you're immediately aware of what's about to happen you know oh no right Yeah, I'm going towards them when I can. Okay, for sure. So I'm If gonna... I don't get there quick enough, it'll at least be some nice salvage. Do you have a vehicle? I have an old truck. An I old think. truck? Yep. Okay, awesome. So give me your driving. Uh, 
driving there. Huh. Yeah, you made it. <laughs> nice. Okay, so um, you you are you hop in the truck and you just like tear out right, park it as just as. Um, Lyrica, Kate you back. hear this, <laughs> yep, Kate, you hear this truck, like, up here behind you, just as you're like, oh, shit, and, like... So, so I'm gonna ask, if I can drop a Benny or something in order to, um, have plans laid with, god, I can't keep reading the, the name. Shortwave? Shortwave. Yeah. You yeah. have plans with shortwave so that if something were to come up, like certain signals or certain things that I would scream indicate he does something. So either yeah, I need yeah, help yeah, yeah. or um, like, okay, this is your time to lay low kind of thing. Get somewhere where you can't be seen and then transform and lay low kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so why don't you first give me your electronics? That's not really what I wanted. And you're welcome to drop another Benny. Um... <laughs> okay, that's better. All right, perfect. So, uh, oh yeah, and drop the Benny to be. No, I'm oh, not yes. gonna make. I'm gonna give that back to you. I'm not gonna make you drop a Benny for that because. Um, I feel like it is totally within character, this robot that you've prepared, that you have plans in case a uh, TRF drone comes up. You she, know? She, she, she's turned into a prepper. Right, right. So, so what she's going to do is she's basically going to take a deep breath, uh -huh. and then she's going to sprint around the corner toward shortwave, screaming, Get back here, you little shit! I'm gonna fucking take you apart! <laughs> right. And she is waving whatever's in her hand. She is... And she's going in it at an angle so that the nearest exit, the nearest side street, corner, hole, whatever, mm -hmm. that Shortwave can get to, he can dodge into that. And she's going to try and flank him so that the patrol has to deal with her instead of Shortwave. Okay, gotcha. Um, all right, so let's see here. Um, now, that being said, why don't you give me your athletics? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is what I was afraid of. Oh my god, yes! All right, so you guys kind of have this plan made, right? So... You dart out there, waving your hands, and it causes the drone, which you are aware is not manned by a person. It is controlled by a person via remote headsets and things like that. Um, and so you see it pause what it's doing, swivel its head, right? So it's looking at you now. And then it says, halt, civilian. You are in a restricted area. Proceed to the closest exit as quickly as possible. And she, so assuming that shortwave is getting away and is no longer the focus of yep. it, she's going to turn and look at it still running Uh huh. and yell straight in this lens. I'm going to try and not yell too fast too loud because I don't want to like, yeah, scream fine. and Whatever. break anything. <laughs> Basically, these fuckers killed my family. I'm going after them. Whatever you say, fuck off. And she keeps going. Okay, awesome. Yeah, I freaking love that. And so uh, it's like civilian. Please do not resist arrest. You will be detained and the nearest TRF task force will be deployed to 
take you in, basically, right? I don't know. Like, you don't have specific. <laughs> um, and so, uh, what does a robot sound like? <laughs> I'm terrible at impersonations. You don't want me to do that. <laughs> uh, again, you right. want to be <laughs> Do not resist. Put your hands on the ground. Oh, we got subscribers. Yay. 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 Thank you. Uh, thank you. Um, so we are. Can we all get conviction? <laughs> oh my God! Actually, let's say since we got a subscriber, we'll say that everyone gets one more adventure card. Because that is a big deal. Thank you. So I still much. don't have any adventure cards. Oh, you don't? Oh, you sure don't. Here, no, yeah. I, let I me don't. help you. You don't either, Yuan. Here we go. Okay, Ewan doesn't either. I think I'm the only one with adventure cards. Okay. Sorry. Ooh. Here you I go. See some. There you go. And now we'll give Kate her extra one. Okay. So. Okay, you take off, right? This thing goes to give you chase really um now give me a common knowledge i'm not sure how adventure cards work but and i'm so sorry i you I, can I, use them i can't i, I can't help the guys the chaos it, it calls to me i'm so sorry what happened what uh, are you doing? Each player draws a card from the adventure deck and they play an additional card this session. Yeah, nice. Okay, so... Oh no, there's the second line to that. <laughs> Sometimes seeing the party is subject to a strong and dangerous attack from enemies or creatures out for blood. Use. Oh, okay. <laughs> Chaos! Okay, uh, so, um... Perfect. Common knowledge, is that what I'm supposed to be doing? Uh, yeah, do common knowledge first. We'll, we'll let her finish her role, then we'll definitely address that. That's very much fun, for sure. Um, and so, you are aware that uh, the TRF drones are packed full of detaining weaponry. Tasers, rubber bullets, like... You know that if this thing catches you, pain is likely to follow. So, uh, give me another athletics roll. Um, can I use... I have a card. I don't know whether or not that would work. It just says a foe. Okay. What, what, what does it say specifically here? Let me look. Turncoat. Your hero somehow convinces or bribes a foe to perform a small favor, such as helping the hero escape, revealing the location of a boss, etc. Ah, um, so I feel like, yeah, this counts as a foe. Um, what if, first let me take... Let me get agility? Yep, give me your agility. Let me take care of Flip's card. And then we'll take care of your card if you want to play that. So, my agility. <laughs> flip. Hi. Hi. So everyone can now. to get killed. Everyone can now play two adventure cards this session, and of those three that you have. Um, Flip, your card, this foe, right? So, as Kate is dealing with this, and Ewan pulls up in the truck, you hear the pew of a police siren, right? Uh, aren't they in San Antonio? Uh, they are in the rubble of San Antonio, yes. And I'm, I'm in Dallas. Right? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. You don't hear this. They hear this. Sorry. <laughs> um, uh, but because of this card that you play, a new foe has entered. <laughs> um, and so you see this 
police car pulling up and it's got its sirens blaring um, and, and the lights are on and then it shuts them off. Now, each of you give me a notice as well. And then we'll go to Lyrica's card and address that. All right, now, Andrew, your character notices something that is very unique to this vehicle and perhaps people would not notice immediately. You know um, how a lot of police cars have the mar the saying on the back to protect and serve? I think so, yeah. Well, this one actually says to punish and enslave. That's a more subtle clue than I was expecting. I was expecting it to not have a driver. Um... <laughs> Now, because of your bonus roll, take the words right out of my mouth, why don't you? It does have a driver, but as it sits there, you see it glint and kind of go just quickly like it is just kind of stutters, the effect stutters, and you see it flicker to a hologram blue and then back. And it's a very stern looking police officer with large shades, completely unmoving facial features. Uh, two questions. Is that terrifying weird cop thing he counts as a wild card? I don't really know what a wild card is. Yeah. It is a wild card. Yes. Let's get it talking. <laughs> so for those who can't see in the stream i just played a villainous verbosity card uh it says play to make a opposing wild card lose his next action by gloating or talking about his master plan let's, yes. get, let's get him chatty yeah okay awesome i love this so um lyrica Kate, you drew this card, right? So let's flip back to that real quick. Police officer pulls okay. up. Boo! So I'm using so I'm using turncoat. Yep. But I'm using it specifically on the drone. Yep. That's targeting me. Uh -huh. And she's like, I thought you were after it too. I can find it for you. And she keeps going. <laughs> Love it so much. So the And she is getting the out of dodge as fast as possible i freaking love she's, it so much um, he's probably diving through the hole that uh um shortwave went through considering yeah. she has the small hindrance right so oh yeah tiny. yeah 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 so you and you see this happen everything is happening so fast the police car pulls up um and then um it's going it is going to end up being a bit chatty. The KSI drone spins around and it's like, <laughs> halt, alien presence detected. Prepare for termination. And then, of course, the car transforms, you know, choom, 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 and rises up. And you are looking at Barricade. He is a Decepticon. He's got a spinning blade, kind of chainsawly, chainsawy chainsaw like, I don't know, more like a blender than a chainsaw, actually. A circular blender type thing on his arm. And he looks evil. Glossy black and, like, it's not a black and white police car. It's kind of that black and silver, you know? Very dark tinted windows. So everything is just very ominous. He's got the red glow in his eyes, right? He rises up and he's like, we are on the same side. Stand down, human scum, you know. And Ewan, uh, what are you going to do? Well, <laughs> Lyrica seems to have gotten away fine, so you turn and slam the accelerator down. Okay, awesome. All right. So you here, and I'm going to do this actually. I see what I get for trying to help someone. <laughs> I had it covered. <laughs> you did surprisingly well, yes. <laughs> I may be small and weak, but fuck. 
I am smart sometimes. <laughs> Yeah, he has to skip a turn, so... Yeah. Um, so, okay, so... Barricade unleashes this, like, these bullets into the KSI drone. And these things are no Transformer. Uh, they do not... The military does not have, like I said, the assault tech that, the K, uh, that KSI has. Like... Weaponry has not been made a deal with this company, and that is a very specific point for KSI. Um, now, that is what's interesting about the robots saying that they're on the same side, too. Um, that is kind of the bit of talk. He Barricade says to the humans, I'm on the same side, you human scum, then points the gun, blows off one of the drone's legs, it falls over into the building. Um, and then you hear the boom, 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 right? And it slams down into vehicle mode, fishtails, and starts chasing after Ewan's truck. Now, you know, why don't you give me a drive? Haha! <laughs> nice! Well, That's ten? Nice! You nice. needed that! Yep. <laughs> That's so well, bad. he rolled a one, so... <laughs> um, <laughs> so he goes to peel out, right? And here's something interesting that I just left. So Ly Lyrica, Kate, I had you roll for her in these plans that you and um, Shortwave have made together, right? Um, as he's going to peel out, he's dropped like... Caltrops, basically, that you guys have made. Um, Caltrops, however you want to say it. Um, little mm -hmm. spiky balls to pop tires. He has sprinkled them across the road just in case the threat was Transformer and Origin. And so as he's darting into this hole in the building, pop pop pop, he peppers them. This the barricade transforms into vehicle mode to tear after you and the tires pop it's uh, he spins out can't get the traction he needs Ewan gets away Kate's inside the building and following behind shortwave as you guys have I'm sure have all these little paths through what's left of the city oh yeah um, they're they're heading there she's grabbing her pack shoving whatever was on the the table right at the moment she's probably got safe houses set up at various points mm -hmm. in like a spider web pattern and then she's taking one of those paths and you know somewhere else and hoping he got away and she'll try and contact him later kind of thing yeah <laughs> awesome okay so um, um yeah uh when a transformer goes in for caltrops and all the tires off uh-huh um, do you think that feels a lot like stepping on legos yeah totally <laughs> <laughs> exactly like them like their tires will be fine they'll just like you know repair themselves after a turn or so but sure. it's painful it's like your parents like ow ow and they kind cool. of i'm all, just making sure they kind of all hate shortwave because of that he's like a really terrible three-year-old um and to them anyway this, this why I um, right like i love it and so now that being said all of this is happening um we are going to go to flip who is now heading to her lunch break well tetra is heading to her lunch break sorry excuse me flip's staying right here <laughs> Great. Uh, I'm going to go to the, probably the cafeteria in the office. Uh, I'm going to get myself probably, we'll go with a turkey wrap that I, I'm feeling the wrap. Okay. A little bit of honey mustard. <laughs> um, you know, some Swiss cheese, keep it classy. Perfect. Um, a cup of tea. I'll pay with my credit card, you know. Um, I'm feeling, 
I'm feeling good today. Made a bit of a breakthrough. I think I'll, I'll get a nice uh, a cookie too. One of those cookies by the cash register. Okay. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> and of course, all of the cookies are shaped with like the KSI logo. That yeah, is, no, that's great. Yeah. And like, so it's like a globe that has the words like printed on like a sugar print thing that says like building a better future or whatever. And I love the um, juxtaposition of them like fighting for their life on a transformer, and I'm like, I'm gonna go get a turkey. Now. Yeah, <laughs> I love it too. Um, so you are enjoying your um, lunch, and now um, there are, of course, are displays around the cafeteria. You've got a nice cafeteria. They've got like the best ergonomical seating areas, and like indoor plants so everyone feels very happy and like yeah um, i'll go you know find some of my colleagues have a nice chat okay for sure so you sit down with a group of three people and one's name is megan megan yep and then you have barley barley uh-huh okay and then you have ken and ken get it Mm -hmm. So Megan, Barley, and Kenneth. Now, okay. Megan is a cybersecurity person. And okay. um, that is her place there. Now, she's a beautiful blonde with a British accent. Um, she's got blue eyes. She is extremely intelligent. Um, Sounds very, yummy. Very friendly, yes. She is gorgeous really um and a total brain but she's nice and kind of funny you know um okay. and the two men that are with her barley and kenneth um they are your typical fresh out of college guys they kind of have messy like tech guys they have messy hair they're programmers really um you would know okay. that Barley in particular, he's a bit heavy set. He's got a scruffy beard and kind of messy hair. Um, everything is like a um, light brown color um, as far as hair, eyes, beard. Um, and he is he not. Cute. Yeah, he's cute. He wears dorky t shirts. Um, lab Literally shirts. everybody at this table so far is my type, Andy. Yeah, oh, Go perfect. Um, okay, so because these are some of your closest friends in the company. Um, okay, cool. Now. Um. I, I go, go ahead on Kenneth and then I have to play another one of my flaws. Okay, okay, awesome. So now Kenneth what do they call it? Uh, is an attractive black man. He is um, extremely intelligent as well as far as signal analysis goes. That is kind of his sweet spot. Um, whereas Megan is more about detecting a threat, he is better at analyzing it um now he is her like go-to when she has found something and you can tell as you're approaching the table well actually give me a notice sure uh, let me just figure out how to do that again uh here like this one nope. uh, notice okay five okay nice so you can tell that i don't it says treat roll was a natural one i don't know if that matters it doesn't matter i mean you're so fine um so uh you are able to notice as you're approaching that they seem to be in like a very animated discussion megan and kenneth well barley is like no no like always kind of playing devil's advocate in the middle but he just likes to disagree and play the are you know, like the naysayer to whatever theory they're talking about really um so it kind of does make him crucial to a debate between the two of them because sure. he kind of always plays the middle ground right um and that's why every they all fit so well together but um you can tell obviously that they're really interested in what they're talking about okay. um Oh, geez. Uh, well, I'm curious, but I also have a big mouth, and I want to tell uh, Megan about the possible breach I found accidentally clicked on. Right? Oh, um, yeah. Nice. But okay. curious is the major, and big mouth is the minor, so I got to know what they're talking about before I say anything. 
Okay, okay. Um, so first and foremost, then, as you're approaching with your cookie and your turkey wrap, you sit down and you're like, you guys have kind of picked a spot that is next to an indoor large koi pond that they've built. Um, it. And it's got, you've kind of got like a almost greenhouse type conservatory sla- uh, type of cafeteria, like mm-hmm. glass roof, indoor trees. So you've got a spot right next to this pond, a little table of four. Um, and uh, you hear her, you hear Megan saying to Kenneth in particularly, no, absolutely not. You know that Japan does not have anything this advanced. I mean, they cracked that wall in like five fire se- uh, in like five seconds flat. Okay. And so, and Kenneth is like, "What? Like they haven't got?" Uh, and Kenneth is like, "Like they haven't gotten their hands on some sort of alien tech too. You know that they could just it'd be just as advanced as we are, if not further along. I mean, we also know that KSI has an office there too." Um, she's like, well, that doesn't necessarily mean the job's coming from inside. The job? Um, Or, uh, I'm sorry, maybe not job is not the best word. Maybe she's more like that the attack is coming from inside the build, uh, inside the company itself, you know? Uh, what attack, I ask? Okay, and so she's like, oh, Oh, well, here, sit down, she says, and they kind of skew I, I, their I do trays. exactly that. <laughs> right. And they're like, well, I could get in a lot of trouble for telling you this. I left her sealed. And she's like, perfect. Like, I mean a lot of trouble. Like, in jail for the rest of my life type of trouble. Holy crap, <laughs> um, what, did, what did you do? I didn't do anything, but... We don't know who did. That's the problem. It doesn't look what like happened? anything we've ever seen before. The signal was totally foreign to us. We suspect alien. Um, what, what happened? Someone is, I don't know, um, trying to hack into the laboratory's files. Um, it happened just a few minutes ago before we went to lunch, actually. What do you mean hacking in? Um, so they're like they're like well the system was attacked the firewall sensed a uh, a virus in the system something to steal information that explains it I I say aloud (laughs) Um, she's like explains what what do you know oh I I had noticed uh, on my computer there were files I, I didn't I wasn't sure if I should have access to it. I accidentally opened one, realized I probably shouldn't be in here. Um, but there were things I'd not seen before, so that explains why I was seeing weird things on my computer. Awesome. So she's like, oh, well, apparently they were... We cut them off, or they figured out that we were onto them, but they not without stealing a lot of information first. Um, she's like, well, that's, that's shitty. She's like, yeah, unfortunately, I think it might cost me my job. Um, Kenneth seems to think it was the Shit, Japanese. Megan. And I was like, and she's like, and I tried to tell him I've never seen anything this sophisticated from them before. Well, look, you're, you're doing your best. Um, you know, attacks happen. You're there to help deal with those attacks. But the reality is it's always going to happen. I will be here for you regardless. Okay. okay. You, 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 you know that whatever happens, you know, I've got a couch. You're going to be okay. And we'll, we'll make it through. So she kind of, she smiles at you and it's like sweet and kind of is like, I'm just worried about you. If, if they think that it's you, then you're going to lose your job or worse, be thrown in jail. Um, me? No, not it. it she, he's saying this to. Megan. Oh, okay, okay. And okay. Barley's like, no, no. She just found the signal. That's her job. Yes. Um, Your job is to detect signals, and no matter what, you have friends here for you. You know, I have a couch. I have a queen bed. Um, there will be there will be space for you. It's okay. So Megan kind of smiles at you and leans forward, 
and... If, I, if I'm low-key kind of passively hitting on her, do I need to make a persuasion for that? Yeah, go for it, uh-huh. Oh, no. <laughs> That's a critical thing. <laughs> <laughs> so, really, okay, this I love. This is this is perfect, actually. This will work out so amazingly well. Um, so, as you're leaning in, like, trying to be maybe seductive, like, as she's not, leaning Not super in, seductive, you're right. but, like, I, like, yeah, I have yeah. proven my... You're just leaning close, up. like, as she's leaning in to tell you something... Uh, you lean in too, like maybe trying to be a little flirty, and then you realize that she's not even looking at you as you're trying because she's trying, she's trying to get you to look in her purse, and oh, okay. and you're like leaning in, still looking. She's like, no, look. <laughs> All right, I look. Um, and you see that she there is a little tiny zip drive. Um, well, what it looks like is a case of lipstick, but you know her well enough to know that that is a, it's a zip drive. And she's like, I took a small segment of the signal when I found it. I copied it. I wanted to analyze it further. Okay. Um, she's like, because no matter how much I tried to stop it, it was like it was a alive and um working around me intuitive i, I turned to kenneth and ask have, have you looked at this yet um he's like i started to but then the company put it on lockdown uh, huh. yeah we were both removed from our desks they're taking our computers away they're going to replace them, they say, but they said that the system was compromised and that they were looking into her because she was, they detected that she downloaded a file before the system went offline, you know? So they, they know you have it. She's like, yes, unfortunately they do. But they're trying to hide something. Oh, uh, shit. Okay, look, um... Fuck, they're gonna search you after to one of us. Um, she's like, okay, let's go to the bathroom. You can borrow my lipstick. And she, like, smiles. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll go with her. Um, okay, and this so... Is, this is how I get fired. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you guys, get, you guys get up and move to the bathroom, right? And now we are going to go to you and Lyrica again. Um, actually, do we need a bio break? Um, it's almost two. We've been going for, uh, you want to say one, uh, 215 bio break? Are you guys good right now? I'm okay. I don't know. Okay. okay, awesome. All right. Well, then we'll just continue. Um, so, uh, you and you have. gotten away from barricade from what you can tell where are you heading i'm heading to somewhere where i can ditch my vehicle and disappear into warren of streets okay okay awesome so give me a common knowledge oh dear. Could be better, could be worse. Ah, uh, you are like, where do I go? Where do I go? And as you drive right past Kate's garage um, to hide your vehicle. Um, and so, Kate, you, as you are making your way to back to your place in a roundabout sort of pathway way, you are crossing over... So a uh, skyscraper has toppled and has fallen onto a shorter building and created somewhat, the fire escape on the side of this building has created somewhat of a precarious catwalk. Um, and so you are using that to make your way across that to that rooftop, down the back ladder into the alley of that, which will get you right to your warehouse. Um, 
in a matter of moments. Driving right underneath you is you and he's just, or Andrew, he's just flooring it, you know? You see him like, screech, still, like, Barricade is long since not following you. Um, he's looking for somewhere to hide his vehicle, doesn't even think about hiding it in your garage. And he's like, where do I go? Where do I go? Um, is there is there any, like, scrap metal or glass or something nearby that I could grab and try and throw, like, in front of him to one side so that he'll turn to Oh, yeah, my garage? for sure, for sure, for sure. Let's get, let's have you do, though since you're kind of precariously perched up there, give me an athletics. Yeah, not fall. <laughs> that would suck. Please don't fall. Okay, that's good. Okay, awesome. So yeah, you find like a piece of like metal rebar, really. And um, you toss it out and it bounces off the hood of his truck and it actually flips into the air as it hits the hood and harpoons through the glass like near him and he has to like s slam on his brain <laughs> i just went, oh. whoops. whoops i just meant to hit next to the vehicle so that he would turn like swerve sort of that way yeah uh, you know Sorry, babe, not great <laughs> um and so yeah you stop it's not anywhere near you it's like in the passenger seat like had you had a passenger in there it would have been like did you die <laughs> no but i think i'm under attack <laughs> <laughs> um so you stop the car and kate are you saying anything Oh yeah, you hear this disembodied voice go, Come around back, you idiot! Less clips to impaling me next time! Sorry, my aim sucks! You're not dead, are you? No, but no thanks to you! <laughs> That's amazing. Um, so, yeah, you're looking for somewhere to hide your truck. She's like, over here, really. Um, and Go around back, I'll be there in a second. Right, right, right. <laughs> and Shortwave is with you guys. I'll, we'll go ahead and just skip a few moments forward and get you guys into, like, her garage. And um... She has a moment where she, like, almost trips and falls, and she's like, See, that was the payback. Okay, we're, we're even. <laughs> <laughs> yep, perfect. And so you guys um, are inside of her warehouse, and um, she has, Kay, I'm sure, has like a TV or something that she can monitor the news and reports and things like that on. Um, now, as you guys are kind of calming down after that event, um, you would see on the news another KSI employee from the uh, Dallas, Texas branch has gone missing. Um, if you have seen the whereabouts of, and they flash a picture, and um, it's no one, it's no one that we've talked about okay. yet um and so but it is someone that didn't work there for very long um so that's something interesting and that is one thing that you would notice or well that tetra would know about is that yes indeed some employees have gone missing but it's been very sporadic and i mean it's a dangerous world so um uh perhaps hasn't stood out too much to her at this point. Um, Everybody goes missing. Right. Do I, I guess I have bigger profile. Do I know that Tetra works with them? Um, I, I don't think we've met. met. You guys have not met, actually, yeah. Oh, okay, we have not met. You, have you not don't know met. Tetra, period. Yep, um, you so, have not so that, met. So that introduction at the original that did not happen. that did not happen no um you now you do know iron hide and your dad and you've met you have met lockdown and the trf before so 
that all of yeah. that did happen. They did destroy your barn and your warehouse. It's just that Tetra was not there. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> exactly. So, hence her still having the Prius, too. So and I didn't play much of the role in that. So. No, you're fine. And actually, you guys, I am going to say bio because I do have to go to the bathroom. So, um, okay. you guys, we will be back in 10. I'm going to put up our Be Right Back screen and we'll see you all in a few. Thanks for watching us. Um, I hope you're enjoying it. And yeah, we'll be back.
<laughs> hey guys, we're back. No, there is a little bit of a delay. It, with the oh, mics, the doing? mics were not live. By the way, sorry, okay. <laughs> the mics were not live. <laughs> no, the mics were not live. They did not hear you say that. <laughs> oh dear, hey, that was guys, special for just back. us. Um, so, moving right along with our story, Andrew and uh kate have just seen this news report as they're like taking a moment to get themselves together after coming into contact with a very mean decepticon and a um a trf drone so they are kind of in kate's warehouse now they've seen a report about missing um ksi employees and we'll go from there. Okay, so you guys are free okay, to ask. I have a, I have a few questions. Uh huh. One, I, I have seen the, uh, the specific Decepticon that we just ran into before. Yes. Correct. Yes. Okay. Two. Um, no, I guess that would pretty much be it. At okay. this point, Kate's like, I need to vacate this area. I need to vacate this area of now hard. I wonder what's going on there. Where do you think that's located? Do you think they have a branch nearby? Maybe we should take a road trip. I think a road trip is a good idea. Being it's out of here sounds like a really good idea because that guy is bad fucking news. The last time that happened, I lost everything. Can we go now? Yes, yes, we can go. I I don't want to see him again. That is amazing. I love this idea. So you guys are like gonna pack up you and or Andrew's truck then is what's gonna Oh yeah. Happen. Oh she's um, gonna like she's in her warehouse now, she's putting together like things that she needs. Obviously she's not gonna be able to take the whole scrap yard with her. Right. But like anything that she's been working on, any small parts that are hard to come by, things like that, she's gonna put in canisters or containers that she can strap into the back Perfect. of the truck. You're bringing and then her your re your re research tech, really. Everything that you've been working on. And so whenever you wanna say that this is something that you've had with you or you've been working on i'll totally allow you to drop a benny since it's in kate's like backstory to be like no actually this is what i was working on this is why and if you can link it back to something that kate's been through 100 percent like well i mean like i've got her bag and i've got a specific list of what's in her bag yeah, already perfect. she's got like two she's got like two drones already and that just came standard she yeah. bought those but like new yeah. proximity it's, alarm setups and things like that like totally things that like you've just maybe had i'm for that and uh yeah I'll whatever just, you i'll want. just have to explain why she would have been working on that before and, yeah and how it would have related to what she kind of does that's, yeah that's i'm totally cool with that. okay perfect so <laughs> we'll just say that like you're packing up um andrew's truck and i feel like he is well, Andrew, yeah, what are you doing through all of this? Like, I'm helping her pack all her gear up and see what interesting gotta... stuff she's bringing with us. Quite frankly, a lot of inter interesting shit. So, why don't Andrew? Why don't you give me a um, uh, repair? Just to see, like, since you're kind of like the repair type guy um 11 on a d4 is pretty good yeah 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 so yeah they're very good you yeah. get a general idea of what she has been working on like maybe it is not um one like you don't understand alien tech the way she does like she repairs shortwave like she can help a, a transformer if it's injured you know um yeah. and so she has a much broader understanding of the way it works but you totally get some of what she's done and she yeah like she has some she's 
she has notebooks everywhere. Yeah. She has random drawings. And then and then as she's packing all that stuff and like she pushes him out of the way and like files all the paperwork that makes sense to her, but it looks like it's just like shoved in a book or something. She folds that and then she's like, Oh yeah, by the way, I don't want any of that. If you're interested in any of that, just have at it. She continues packing. Oh, here's an idea. So there's at least two bits on yoinking. Yeah, I love Just on it. principle. So as you're poking around and you're like getting things, you see these like little canister type cylinder things that she's made. Um, and you press the top of one and like you see like a little button on there and it unfolds into like a maybe four by four metallic like blast shield that will give you like a, four points of armor that you can just pop up if you need it you know um after you use it it's pretty much destroyed like they're not like super durable but they deploy pretty quickly and so um yeah you that's find... gonna save my life yep. i'm taking it yep so <laughs> you you are helping her load those in she like she said, oh, you know, I don't need any of that stuff. And maybe she already <laughs> packed a few, you know, like. <laughs> no, more than likely the shield thing. She's like, I'm trying to work with a lighter um, aluminum compound right. because those things are way too heavy for me. I can't even lift it to get it in front of my face. So if you want them, like. <laughs> That's yes. awesome. You can have them. <laughs> That's awesome. So, yeah, and they are kind of hefty. We'll say that they are about, like, five pounds each. And um, here, I'll, I'm going to take some notes down. <laughs> She's definitely packing, like, um, there was a, a, a canister of some sort that she created back at the old in the old one to try and do that electrical current and see if she could harness power she's definitely taking that she's oh like, I don't yeah know if I'm for ever sure. going to be able to use it again but that has to stay with me it's kind yeah. of become like a keepsake memory thing yeah 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 totally i love that i love that um so yeah you take that it's like one of your first big projects really uh inventions i guess <laughs> um and so one of the first ones that actually worked and did something it yep. was awesome <laughs> and so you guys have packed up these things and uh you're getting ready to leave um it is now in the afternoon i imagine that Kate probably has like food, like rationy type food, and Andrew does too. He's kind of a survivor that you guys just kind of are snacking on as you go to exit the city. Now, give me a drive, Andrew. Do we, like, do I know Gail? Now, give me a common knowledge. I just didn't know whether or not we had run in, like, if if that historically I had met him before, if I knew he was in the area or what was going on with that, because... You don't, but hold on one second. Um, but speaking of Gail, the missing um, KSI employee goes by that name. Remind me again who Gail is? I, I remember the name. Um, the Project HM. Oh, right, the uh, the volunteer. Test subject, yeah, yeah number three. Oh. Okay. Um, so it's now hit the news that he's been missing, reported missing by loved ones. Um, now you would also, yeah, that's the person that's missing. So maybe, yeah, as you guys are driving, if you want to look into it, you can give me a research, Kate. And, and say you have like a PDA as Andrew is driving. And what was your driving role? 
perfect uh, yeah seven. so yeah you uh, uh, yeah, it's yeah. not an easy drive out of san antonio and san antonio has got this like river wa a walk area and it is like a man-made um runoff water place that they turn into like boats and stuff travel through it and it is it has like nice sidewalks and statues and stuff that lead up to restaurants that are all off of it or were now this waterway there's only really one or two good places to cross over it to exit to the city and that was one of the big things about the battle for san antonio that you would know um is that in order to further destroy san antonio and wage their war the decepticons knocked out most of the ways in and out of the city by knocking out the bridges that crossed over the river walk and the walkway so it trapped a lot of civilians inside the city and a lot of people died um and so anyone that didn't left and um <clears throat> so that is kind of where kate lost her house and her girl her other garage um is they were in the suburbs but um people fleed uh, they obviously things happened that brought them to their doorstep really um likely Ironhide being with her father um, was a big one and so um, the battle destroyed San Antonio you find one of the only ways out um, and there you do have to stop the vehicle as Caitlin is looking up this stuff and get out and because it's walled off from the outside to prevent pedestrians from coming in, you have to kind of open a gate. So give me a an electronics or a repair. You can do a repair. I'll go with repair. Uh, I don't really know anything about electronics. Okay. I know they work. Yeah, right. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, you awesome. So you, much you, uh, you are really rolling well. Um, so yeah, you just repair the gate so it starts to open and let you guys out of San Antonio. And Kate, you are trying to research and for some reason, um, on this little device that you have, um, you realize that the... The device is actually an Etch-a-Sketch. The device is an Etch-a-Sketch, <laughs> yeah. No, that when you go to search for information on Gail Rutheridge, who he was, all gone. You can't find anything. <laughs> and she's sitting there looking at this going, did I get his name wrong? Was he even a guy? I don't fucking remember. <laughs> it's fine. She'll turn on the radio and try and listen to, you know, she, she just has to keep her mind busy. Okay, now give me a notice minus two because of the critical failure. Whoa! Kate, you're no stranger to this life, and you realize, though, as you had been searching, um there your your device starts blinking this red light and you're being trapped um and you like instead of putting your pda down that you made and it wasn't difficult to make you just toss it out the fucking window <laughs> like, <laughs> here she's like ah, tracking fuck that <laughs> I've seen this before. And you see that you hear this crash off to the side as it slams into something and breaks into a thousand pieces and she's like we um, need to keep going. <laughs> Andrew, you would hear that over you getting this like rickety gate to like ching 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 as it's like rolling back to like yeah, you know. I hear like, I, I, I I'm no longer walking back to the car. Uh Pull out sprint. 
Okay, awesome. So give me a another drive roll to like get out of there really quickly. Mm. Now you're welcome to use a Benny to re-roll that. Yep, yeah, I'll do that. Whoa! 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 <laughs> Twenty six. Twenty six. Holy shit! By a D fours. You guys ever see like the videos on like, YouTube of five oh where they go land and bounce off of like a wall or something and land perfectly in a parking spot? Well, that exploded a whole lot. So I am yeah. going to say, not only do you get away. But Kate, um, with his driving skills and the fact that you threw that shit out of the window because you're amazing role, you threw the device into the river walk, like into the river and the river walk, and so it's carrying it somewhere else and it's still active. So they think you're heading completely the opposite direction of where you're going. Oh, that's convenient. <laughs> um, Brilliant. Um, so you guys get out of there as you're heading towards Dallas. And Dallas, at this point in time, like I was saying, has this big wall around it for security. Um, is a safe place that one could get lost in with the number of people who have fled there after all of the battles. Um, it is known for its ability to be somewhat of a stronghold against alien attack. It's got a high military presence. Um, so there is that. But um, KSI do has done a lot of work on developing tech that helps protect the city. So, um, that being said, we're going to head back to Flip's character, who is oh, Tetra. No. She's gone to the bathroom, and she's going to exchange some lipstick with her girlfriend, Megan, who is a cybersecurity so person who's come across a strange signal that was trying to hack into... KSI's protected documents. Yes. Um, so she's like, okay, thank you so much for doing this. Are you sure? I don't want to put you in trouble. Not really, but I, I don't want anything to happen to you. Well, if it's you or me, what difference does it make? I don't want to work here without you. They're going to search you. Um, With luck, they won't search me. And I'm going to try to stash it somewhere anyway, so. Um, okay, so you uh, take it and tuck it away, and she gives you a hug, and she's like, if you can, make a copy, and I'll do what I can on researching where it came from. All right. Um, and she's like, text me as soon as you get home tonight. I will. Um, and so then you guys exit the bathroom, right? Yeah. Um, so you've taken this device. Uh, I'm just, yeah, I'm throwing, throwing it in my, my purse, purse right now. Okay, awesome. So you go through the rest of your day. Unless there's anything in particular that you want to do, we'll move to about five o'clock. I'm, I'm just trying to figure out if there's a place I could, like, without looking conspicuous like stash it so it's not on my person but i could grab it later yeah give me a stealth yeah all right my stealth is garbage let's see i got a two so you can use that. a benny to re-roll it if you would like how many bennies do i have uh oh, three I use gray guns yep uh all right let's try that again Oh, oh. There we go. Yeah, all right, all right. okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that got scary for a minute. I was like, oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> um, so you find somewhere to hide it. And it's interesting because, you know, they're very, like I was saying, they want to keep potted plants and things around. You slip, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, you slip it inside the lip of a pot on one of the 
potted many potted plants that are on yeah. your floor. Yes, and something that's going to be inconspicuous where I can come back and grab it later. Yep, and so you go about your day and go ahead and pick it up on your way back out. And I'm assuming you're heading back to your apartment? Um... I want to say yes, but I'm also not sure how I'm being monitored right now. Can I, can I kind of, can I notice to try to see if I'm like being hailed or anything? I'm a little paranoid right now. Yeah, give me a notice. A two. I'll, I'll take the two. Okay, um, you don't notice anything. Yeah, okay. Um, I, I will head home. Okay, all right. So you get into your Prius and... You are nervous about being followed, and you keep checking the rear view mirror, and you're looking out the windows, and you, you really don't see anything at all. Okay. Um, and you arrive home, you park in your parking deck, you go up to your... I, I, I am going to stop at the gas station to fill up. Okay, all right, for sure. So you... Yeah, it's a convenient stop. I'll go in, I'll get, you know, a snack or something. Okay, it looks awesome. pretty normal, but I'm also trying to, like... If anything's following me, like I'm hoping to weed him out for this. No, everything. Or just is... to look really normal and not like I'm desperate to get home to go and crack the file. Everything is automated at this point. Okay. Um, and so like your Prius automatically opens up the gas cover and there is not an actual lid anymore it's just like a metallic slide back thing so it just like pops itself open an arm comes out with the gas nozzle built into it and it just goes right into where it's supposed to and begins to fill up your vehicle um you go inside and actually inside the teller is not even a teller anymore he is just a service robot um cool i will Go and I don't know, get get some kind of snack, maybe like a soda or something. Um, now, yeah. service robot. I don't want you to think anything intelligent or fancy. Really, what is back there is you, like you hold up the items that you're purchasing it. Can I put in the pump number? Um, and it just processes everything, an arm oh, comes it's, out. It's not even conversational. No, it's not even conversational. Like, uh -huh. an arm comes out, it scans the barcodes of the items you're purchasing. It just removes the need for a person to do a job like that. Well, that's, um, that's sad, but okay. Yeah, it's kind of sad. Um, and well, so... Let's see, roll, roll for depression. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, you know, technology comes with its costs, too, you know? Um, and so, you are used, it, maybe Tetra is used to it, right? Um, maybe not her favorite thing in the world, but she, a lot of it is KSI technology. That... Yeah, like, I, I understand that mm -hmm. this, you know, automated stuff lets people do other stuff, but, you know. There was something nice about interacting with people. Right, exactly. And so, um, you check out with your snacks, and once you pay, it. what's happened is two bars have rolled up to lock your car in place, so you can't roll away, uh, or like yeah. can't leave without yeah. paying. And so once you pay, the bars drop, the arm withdraws from the vehicle. You can go out with your stacks, hop in, and drive home. You, I assume, drive home. Yeah, I'm going home. Okay, so you park your car in the parking deck, right? Yeah. And um, you're making your way towards the door that goes into your building. It's oh, this is the part where I get jumped. I love it. <laughs> um, give me a notice, though. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, oh yes. My God. Yes. <laughs> Critical failure. Um, yes. that Hit me amazing. with that chloroform. <laughs> of course. Oh, oh, here's how I go down. Uh, that is amazing. Um, 
but well, guess what? You I'm, I'm so focused on trying to make sure I'm not followed that I can't see the forest of the trees. You're right, totally. Um, so you missed. I, I, I'm a hundred percent sure I, I'm, I'm covering my tracks. I look stupid doing it. We're, yep. we're good to go. You missed something very important. Um, but it's gonna be like some dude just standing by the door. You go inside and you go up to your place as normal. Now I, I sure do. <laughs> now I, I, I lock I lock the door. You lock the door and everything. You what do you do when you get home for the evening? My my curious law is going way off. Uh, let's grab my personal laptop, which I'm. Can I drop a Benny to have that? You know, uh, Megan looked at it at some point. It's been encrypted. It's secure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, right, she cool. would not I'm, hand you something that would. Yeah. Like, I'm going on my personal laptop, which, you know, not connected to a, the company network. It's my own. Yeah, security. right. Gotcha, and, gotcha. Uh, let, let's go take a look at this signal that I'm absolutely dying to investigate. Okay. Um, you no, know, I haven't already fucked up this part enough. <laughs> so why don't you give me your, like, tr or no research. All right, a 10, not bad. Not bad. Um, so, you are researching this disc, right? And what's yeah. interesting... I, I'd like to note, I'm um, taking precautions to not have this thing transmitting. I'm assuming it has some kind of, like, can, can I, do I need, need a Benny to have, like, a Faraday cage kind of thing? It Non-transmitter is my point. Um, like, yeah. I, I'm making sure this thing's not broadcasting right now. It is, it is not, but... Okay, do you, do you need a Benny for that, or...? No, uh, no, no, no. Um, it is, uh, not broadcasting, and as you yes. are researching this... Oh, no, I think the music just changed. You realize that it is making all of these sounds that you're hearing. Oh, no! And the I, I knew there was an audio change. Oh no. The thing that's interesting about this signal is that it is ever changing. Um like she said. Now this is just it's not the actual signal itself, it's just an basic image of it as it was happening. And so you're able you mean, to... You mean, like, I forget what it's called, but, like, the little bars and stuff? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Exactly like that. That is exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> like, so I am I am hearing it, too. Though. Yeah, you are hearing it, too. And so... Um... Uh, I'm going to, out of sheer curiosity, activate the microphone on my computer and just be like, hello? Um... And you, nothing happens, but you are aware that they were, that this signal, like, as you're researching it, um, images begin to pop out of, like, the files that they were pulling yeah. from within the signal wave that you're picking up. And um, every time you can see where uh, security uh was going in and trying to firewall and quarantine off what they were looking for but it would just mm -hmm. move around it and it would change the tone of the sound that you were hearing as if it was communicating with itself relaying it back somehow um and the files that it's pulling up are not only project hm but other things that are specific to your lab. Okay, and, that's rude. Um, so that head. You realize something was done to the head of the Decepticon that you have hooked up in the laboratory. Oh, shit. Um, then you realize that caused changes and then went oh. from that um, to, as sorry. all this is going on, I remember to also text Megan and be like, hey, I made a mistake. Um, awesome. Perfect. She's like, oh, thank God. Um, yeah, sorry. Go on. Um, and so she 
or so then it goes from that to their research and development department Okay. And you realize that it hits their manufacturing plant that is part of the building. And it's oh, going crap. into all of the vehicles that are being made lined up. Oh, no. Um, and then it gets cut off immediately. In the vehicle making department? Y- yep. It got cut off, or like the feed. The, the, yeah, the feed ends. Security. It looks like security stuff. Okay. So maybe it's not building more robots. Cool. All right. Um, that's all the information I can pull out of this thing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, how far away does Megan live? Um, so, uh, Megan lives a few blocks away. Okay. Um, I'm going to text her, and I'm going to be like, um, I want to be casual about it. Um, I'm going to be like, hey, it's still early. Uh, you up for a couple of drinks at my place? Um, she's like, would love them. I'll see you in a bit. All right, cool. So we'll bounce back to the others now. <laughs> um, bum, bum, bum. <laughs> um, and I haven't forget, uh, forgotten that tale to all, don't you worry. <laughs> Um, so Andrew and Kate, you guys are approaching Dallas at this point. Um, you can see the kind of wall of the city, but the skyscrapers towering above even that. The buildings all look definitively high tech, new age in structure, um, at this point. Um, a lot of it having to do with, yes, like KSI's research and development team and the use of new ore. Um, and that is something that Tetra, you guys would be aware of. Tetra Batara, Dr. Tetra Batara is accredited with the discovery and the ap- applied usages of this new metal. And so a lot of the city and a lot of its developments are actually accredited to her and Dr. Lang all at KSI. Um, So uh, you see this like gleaming city before you and it's very, it does, it's not scary, which is interesting. Um, Sanctuary comes to mind for you even um everything is very white alloy and sorry kate you are muted i couldn't hear you kate's like oh no nothing that calming she is like starry eyed she's like look at all the gleaming metal new stuff so much stuff to pull apart and it's so pretty um uh, it all looks very safe i don't trust it drop of it. <laughs> Nothing is that safe. <laughs> that is amazing. Okay, so um, what you are looking at as you approach is like a large, a massive gate really. Um, and it is open and is open all of the time really. Um, it's a giant archway really from what you can tell, but you can tell that there are obviously doors tucked away within it. So multiple entrances, there are sentry guns aimed down um, at the comings and goings just to uh, 
for and that's a military thing really um that is the heavy military presence at the wall in particular um and so guards are just making sure they're not checking vehicles scanners and everything do that um as you enter in someone bringing in a bunch of tech not unusual unless they detect any overt weapons um that's the only problem that being said andrew and kate have the likelihood of well andrew has a weapon and Kate has short wave. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. you're going to have to make a self check. Now um, you are each going to have to make it for your respective items, though. Okay. All I need is not a critical fail. Oh my god! Ooh, ooh, oh my god! god. <laughs> twenty-two. She rolled a twenty-two, and well, you both got it, and Andrew <laughs> rolled a ten. So, um, you guys cruise by. Probably Kate has a jamming technique, and Andrew, you knew enough in advance to know that you can't make an alien. You modified an alien weapon enough to. So it would pass scanners. Um, yeah, and... it's, got, it's got some of that tech, but it's obviously jury rigged. Right. Yeah. Yes. Right. It's jury rigged enough that it probably comes apart in pieces more often than I'd like. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> right. no. I can fix that. <laughs> yeah, there you go. See? Um, so... Once we're inside and past the scanners. Yeah, right. Um, so you guys get inside. Um, Kay, I feel like you're like shortwave boombox or something and he's like beep, 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 and like shifts down into his boombox and you turn his power off and it's like no, that's she's his like, self play mode. those beats <laughs> yeah <laughs> play those beats <laughs> right oh god that's awesome yeah 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 and so he like is kind of off to sensors really um and so you guys you make it through button, this it wall, doesn't... and what are you doing once inside the city? Kate's not thinking. I mean, let's be honest. Seeing this much, there's this much tech around, there's this much new shiny stuff. It's not a dilapidated waste war zone. She she has eyes the size of dinner plates and her mouth is like her jaw is permanently on the ground. She's it's a good thing she's not driving because they would have wrecked a long time. <laughs> Seeing that I'm getting no help from my partner here. <laughs> um wherever's the most run down that I think we can disappear into. Um there's not a run down part of Oh dear. This town. Um it could I look Dallas down? is powered by advanced technology. We have no rundown sections. Could I no. look for, um, like, Kate would be, I don't know whether or not she would be familiar with that kind of situation since it's a new city, it's not really run down, but there right. would be, like, mechanic shops. There would be, mm -hmm. like, your trade district. And yeah. that's what she would be looking for is okay. a trade district on where, where, where you could get parts, where you could sell parts, where you, she could get in with people that also did what she did, and possibly find a space by trading, either her talents or some some tech that she's like worked on. Perfect. So we'll let you do that and then andrew as far as looking for like somewhere to go to get lost both of you would be aware and it's probably due to ksi's japanese influence there is an americanized equivalent now especially in dallas um that is a pod hotel really um now americanized meaning that pods they do have them for like 
two people. They've got a little bit higher of a ceiling. They've got screens that mount above you. Um, they'll have family ones that are long and wider, you know. Um, so there are, but it's still much smaller than your average hotel room. And people stay in them in so much in the city even workers who don't make enough to own like a nicer place will rent them out for long periods of time so oftentimes they are heavily in the trade district the very working areas so um one in particular um is near a garage that Kate happens to locate, you know, obviously being like, we need to head to the techiest place in this town. <laughs> like, um, Well, I mean, like, not the techiest place, but the most blue collar Yeah, gotcha. Place. Gotcha. Okay, <laughs> right, right, right. Um, the most engineery place, I guess. <laughs> so, there, yeah. Yeah. There, yeah, 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 yeah. The better word there. Um, so, you find it, and there are people working there now one of the people working there is an adorable um chinese girl her woman her name is um sorry verity that's just what she goes by. And that's V-A-R-I-T-Y. And so Verity is, she's edgy. She wears overalls and a backward cap and has tools at her waist, very much like Andrew does often. Um, and she's always got grease spots and stuff on the front of her. Um, she is known for still working on some of the older, more common tech before the alien technology, but mm. she is also really gifted at taking what's old and making it new again. Um, so she has got a lot of tattoos and like a side shaved head and bright colors dyed into her hair underneath the cap um she's short of stature um and she is fairly young like probably see i say um a lot and taking the um train to umbridge i'm supposed to not do that but i do it anyway <laughs> um and she sees you guys coming up and tucks her hand towel after she wipes her hands into her the back pocket of her coveralls and she's like hey welcome to james auto body uh auto and body look at that classic beauty uh, she says in regard to in regards to andrew's truck thanks i've had it quite a while um she's like you guys have that deer caught in the headlights look. Like, you must be new in town. Yes. This, is there anything around that Kate would spy anything on in the front that looks like it's in the middle of being pieced together or Yeah, for sure. Give me a give me a notice. one away from the devil um so you do notice something there is a familiar uh, familiarity there um and okay here i'm going to message you to keep it oh, secret dear. <laughs> oh dear I never know whether to be intrigued or worried when this happens. <laughs> yeah, um, probably you both. Would, you, you would used to it for sure. I feel like, uh, 
Why on yeah. Discord? Yeah, I was. Yeah, I couldn't find you on my Discord for some reason. Um. Okay. Because she's she's curious, so. There you go. Ooh, really? Is it partially taken apart? Uh. Ignore my t ignore my typos. Just try to keep it clear. That's that's fine. Okay. Cool. Um, so Kate is not a very social, well-defined creature. As soon as Andrew starts talking to this girl, there, or there's there's a moment where Kate's like, I really like how she looks. She could be a good, what is that? And she jumps out of the truck. I mean, like, like she opens the door and she just kind of disappears because she's that short. She disappears behind the door. You can't see her head over the window edge anymore. And she darts around and starts walking around this thing that she's seen and is just like sticking her head in places and tucking under here and pulling out like a notebook out of her pack and like flipping through shit. And she's just swarming over this thing. I love it. I love it. <laughs> and she's not even responding to anybody. If anybody's like, what are you doing? She's like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This looks like, oh, 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 I may have a piece. And then she, like, runs back to the truck and, like, starts digging through shit and comes back. She, she's not really responding to people at all at this point. She's gone. So as you take off into there and you move over to this thing that you've described, Verity like stops and she's like, Whoa, wait, 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 and like runs after you. Andrew completely like unaware. No, 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 you can't go in there. Um, and she's like after you, panic stricken, really. And then we're gonna go back to Flip. Now, Flip, you've invited Megan over, she arrives. You bet I've invited Megan over. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and so she arrives and um big thing about her is like you can tell she's nervous and frazzled like um maybe not in the same headspace about being over as you're thinking but you're also intrigued about this signal as well um, and so she comes in. Now, give me another notice roll. Okay, let's crit fail this one, too. It's not a crit fail. Ah, uh, it's just a fail. Um, okay, so yep, still unawares. <laughs> uh, fuck, I'll ban it. Okay. Maybe I'll get a crit fail this time. Oh, I wish I could do it. Okay, so yeah. Um, you, you come inside. I, I don't see it. <laughs> um, uh, all right. And then, actually, since we are looking at it being three now, and that is generally when we start, and it's getting kind of late for Flip. Do you uh, want to finish the, the, uh... We can finish this scene. I'm just, yeah, we'll, I'm giving a heads up. We'll wrap it after this scene. We'll come back with, hopefully, all of our players, all of the tech issues straightened yeah. out and run for the full game. This was going to be, like, session zero rolling into session one. Um, and... So, you invite her in. She sits down. She's like, what do uh, you... I'm, oh, I'm going to give her a drink first. Okay. She, um, what do you say? Everything. Everything. Um, oh, yeah. My, my big mouth trait is not stopping here. I start from the moment how I hated the, uh, the lipstick in a, uh, in a potted plant. And I give her, like, almost excruciatingly. Perfect. Like, just, this is what I bought at the store. And, like, oh, I'm, I'm frustrated. Like, the robots. And here is, like, every single 
for, you know, the recorder that's definitely hiding under my table that I failed my notice roll on. I explain everything uh, oh yeah that <laughs> everything amazing. everything you told me about this hell i'll pull it up on my laptop i'll be like test this out like i think it came from the decepticon head which is bad i don't want to lose my job but like oh yeah everything for for this for the hidden recorder okay that's amazing that, I, I didn't give him a hundred percent sure it's there but i've got the big mouth off, so let's <laughs> let's just oh, go yeah. with it right okay so uh, i'm again Killed. I'm gonna lose my job. <laughs> so you're like maybe even a little freaking out at the same time, you know, like you're like, okay, this is happening and this is happening and this is happening. Oh yeah, there's like, like, like by the time you finish, she's had two glasses of wine and she's like, woo. Um and so then she's like, I, I will also drink some. Yeah, right, of course. Um, so like the, the, the verbal diarrhea is just even more pronounced. She's like, well, and she kind of takes off her, like she's wearing kind of a cropped leather brown jacket over a white, very nice. tailored fit button down shirt and like blue jeans and cowboy boots. Like that is her thing, her Hallmark style from living in Texas for so long, even though she kept her British accent. She's like, well, all I can say is if the Decepticons are up to something, do you think that KSI knows? And she like pulls her shirt off. Um, I mean, it, it seemed like... I mean, not her shirt, her jacket. Woo! <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, it, it seemed like the sig signal was related to using the Decepticon head we have in the lab. So, if I figured it out, I'm sure they know. Okay. Okay. Um, she's like... Well, what do you suppose they're looking for? The, the Decepticons? Uh-huh. Well, the signal went towards the vehicle manufacturing. I think they're trying to build more Decepticons. Oh, no. That's... Yes. Hor how do we stop it without undoing the entire company? I don't know how to stop that without losing my job. Well, I... I I'm not supposed to know the contents of this file, Megan. Uh, do you want to just ignore this and go about it, your job as if nothing has happened? Oh, that's probably not a good idea either. Um, I wonder how hard it would be to stage... And I, I, I hate to do this, but it will destroy so much research. We may be able to stage an accident in the lab. I, I don't know. Now... Or, or perhaps, you know, if you're investigating this, you could find this out and uh, we could disconnect that, that head. Now, Tetra, give me an athletics really quick. Why? <laughs> why do you want athletics? It's a two. <laughs> why, why do you need athletics? Uh -huh, there's, you'll there's, see. There's no good reason in this conversation. <laughs> right so as you guys are sitting there. Possibly later in the conversation. But not, there is no reason for this role right now. Are you ready? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> so as you're sitting there you've been unaware for quite some time yeah um, I'm all, we're both also drinking yes and now you're both drinking you're sitting on your couch you're going over your laptop and the signal and what you found and all of these questions and you're we're sitting close together on the couch and club to the back of the head um no and she, like, out of nowhere, just turns to you and gives you a really deep kiss. Oh. And, <laughs> um, yeah, no, agreed. <laughs> and, uh... It is session zero and we're getting into this action. I'm into it. There's a little surprise, though. Oh, no. Um, all of a sudden... It's poison loves me. There is glass exploding around I you. I swear to God, if you kill my lover, I will never forgive you. As the wind from outside and you being so high up in this building rushes in and blows the glass everywhere, knocking your wine glasses over, there is a large metallic bird there. Buzzard. Hawk. Type of creature. Um, it's got small, dangerous-looking propellers on its wings, circular propellers on its wings. It 
It's the thing I missed with all my notices. All of your notices. And it bursts through the window, grabs her by the shoulders of her jacket and... He took off her jacket. Yeah, or well, by her shoulders, really, and rips her out of the seat right as that's happened and bolts back through I try to grab her, the yeah. open window. And there Absolutely is where we will stop the game. Andy, if you, if you kill my lover, <laughs> I'm quitting the campaign, just so you know. And really? thank you guys so much for joining me. That is our cliffhanger for the episode. We will return next week with hopefully do, everyone. Do, do not bait me with a cute researcher and then <laughs> murder her for plot devices. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not uh, telling you, you, you know anything. <laughs> don't you dare. Listen, I just finished. I don't know who's watched the 100. And I'm not going to spoil too much, but they kill off so many characters, and particularly queer characters. I can't take more heartbreak, Andy. I'm uh, sorry. I I, you'll I see. You'll see. We're going somewhere with this. Okay. We will be back next week. I hope everyone enjoyed it. Sorry about the tech yes, stuff. Thank you for watching. First stream, first stream labs. You guys Yay. be safe out there, and I will see you all later. Watch out for birds. <laughs>